Damn, didn't take y'all long, did it? I mean, I know it's been a minute, but sheesh. No music playing, none of that going on, Negroes. So happy, so happy. <laughs> you see your soul tribe in here? I'm higher than a mountain goat, so take it easy on us. Hey fam, what's up, Janiers? Why am I up? Man, because I got a transmission. Okay, so I'm going to start doing this thing called Galactic Transmissions, right? And this is when I get information from the galactic beings of the universe. Okay? And I go in, I start dropping science, knowledge, and wisdom. I know y'all miss me. I miss y'all too, babies. <laughs> Y'all doing good tonight? Peace, peace, peace. Yes, do tell. Yes, do tell. Yes, we are, babies. All right, so let me start off with first saying that um, this vacation I'm on down here in Mexico is beautiful. I have been having such a peaceful time, but also I've been having a very enlightening time. Okay, very enlightening time period. And I want to share some information that I received to give you guys some updates. Feeling good, feeling fire, doing awesome. You miss me? The dapper one. All right, so... Let me give you guys um, a rundown. Like, I'm in my bed right now. So, my hair ain't brushed down or nothing. I don't care. I'm in my bed. Because after I get done with y'all, I'm going to bed. So, I'm just being regular. Okay. Akaisha Anik. That's what I want to talk to you guys about. Number one, what you guys saw in my video were not comments. Those were not comments. Those were not meteorites. What you witnessed in that video was an actual galactic ship exploding. And it was exploded by the Lyrians. They exploded it. It was a draconian ship that exploded. Okay? So, I'm going to really start. Yes, yes, ships. We have warfare taking, pl taking place above our skies right now. Major warfare taking place. So you actually witness Illyrian, the Illyrians, one of the Illyrian ships blowing up a Draconian ship. Now I need you guys to understand something. Um, the minds of the people are going to really have to start opening up and really start expanding. Your consciousness has really got to start expanding if you guys really want to start getting into understanding what is happening with the world that we're living in right now. Okay? You have beings on the planet that have been on this planet for a very long time. Okay? Very, very long time. And you have some sectors of these beings that are not positive and that are not for humanity. And then you have some sectors of the same type of species that doesn't want to be bothered, that doesn't want to bother humanity. Okay? But right now, what's happening is, is that we have a situation where you have a set of draconians and reptilians that want to place darkness upon the earth. Now, I know you saw the thing. If you didn't see it, you should go check out my Telegram channel. But I put some information up on my Telegram channel where I spoke up, where I put an article up about Bill Gates wanting to set off a balloon that has some type of chalk in it. But there was a part of the article that they didn't reveal, which was not only was it going to have chalk in it to block out the sun, but there's also going to be something else in it that was going to make the people very sick. This is supposed to take place in Sweden. Okay. The plans for them to block out the sun is not going to happen. And they themselves don't even realize how detrimental or the detriment that's even going to bring to them that are planning this. But the plan is to bring darkness upon planet Earth. Okay. I want you guys to understand. And I don't even want to say planet Earth anymore because it's not that. It is a realm. It is a realm. It is a plane. That's what it is. Now, 
I also want to make you guys aware that there are tons and tons of ships in the sky. And there are different beings that have these ships that are in the sky that are protectors of the earth. Their sole purpose is to make sure that they bring balance to the earth. And they're not going to allow anything or anyone disrupt humanity's, um, uh, what do you call it, um, free will. Okay. Now, one of the things that was revealed to me when I spoke to them, when I spoke to them about those who chose to got to get the vaccine, you know, they actually was apologizing during the, during the communication. But at the same time, it's also been revealed to me that we don't learn. And that's really the bottom line. So for those of you that have been caught up in this matrix about being concerned with individuals that's gotten this vaccine, I want to make sure you guys are clear about something. This is the people who don't ever learn. They don't pay attention to history enough to learn anything. Or if they have learned something, they chose to turn their back on it and go against themselves. So that's what we're dealing with here. Their exact words were, they don't never learn. And this is about me talking about talking to my people, talking about my people and the fate for our people. Because of all the struggles and all the things that we've been through and, and since being here in this position that we've been in, we don't learn. How do you have Tuskegee 5.0 take place in 2021? Make it make sense. We don't learn. When you see the elderly out here that was a part of that process, turn around and do the same thing. They don't learn. Okay? Now, I'm going to let you know, <laughs> there's... <laughs> There is going to come a time, my people, because of the war that is taking place before your very eyes. And I'm going to let you know right now, they made it very clear that only so much can be hidden. And so soon you guys are going to start seeing a lot of things that you didn't see before. A lot of you guys are going to try to put your head in the sand. And a lot of you guys are going to start experiencing more cognitive dissonance because you don't want to deal with what's really happening. Well, for some of the stuff, it's going to, oh, it's going to show up on your doorstep. In terms of those who went and got this vaccine. Okay. It's going to show up on your doorstep. And when you say, I just, well, what do you mean? Well, what I mean is, is that the people that you think are your people will not be your people anymore. You're going to see that play itself out here real soon. And that's going to be unfortunate. Okay. So I'm just relaying the message. This place is a digital world. It's a digital world. Okay? And there are multi there, there are multi different parts of you that are all taking place at the same time on different realities and on different realms. You you could be one species in one in one particular reality and be a total different species in a different reality, all having experiences. But all is one. Remember that. And when I say to you all is one, it means that it's, it all comes from source. Source is just experience, experiencing itself through the many different facets of who we are. On the many different dimensions that we're on. I haven't seen Westworld. I'm in, I'm in Puerto Vallarta, so when you ask me, did I feel the frequency go up? Fam, the frequency been up since I touched down down here. It's a high vibrational frequency space, so it's been that way for me since I've been down here. There's a lot of things that I see you guys talking about that at the end of the day has no relevancy to nothing. And what, I, and what I'll say to you is, is that there are certain calls that are being put out to people to wake people up. 
Those of you that are heeding the message, that are heeding the cry, make sure you listen to me very carefully. Some of you guys are about to be called to action to do certain things. I need you guys to get prepared. Someone says, am I okay? I'm fine. Why wouldn't I be okay? I'm relaxed because I'm on vacation. It's just that what you guys are also witnessing is just me coming into a deeper understanding about how the world works and what's really going on. And some of this information that I'm giving to you guys may not resonate with y'all, and that's okay if it doesn't resonate, because I'm not here to give a message to the people that it doesn't resonate to. I'm here to give the message to the people that it does resonate with, that you need to understand that. I'm constantly evolving in my consciousness, so my messages are going to be different. Okay? Thank you, Burko. Hey, I'm glad I'm making y'all feel motivated over here. It's definitely a big shift that's taking place. But I do want you guys to understand that when you see all the stuff that's going on, all the articles coming out, and you see these people getting more and more aggressive, now you got Rutgers University coming out saying that they're going to make it mandatory for all college students to get the vaccine that's experimental. Okay, when you start seeing things like that, I want you guys to understand something. You have individuals that have made blood packs with different types of entities that are very dark in exchange for money and power. Okay, and protection. Because they seem to think that they're going to be on the winning side, but I can assure you that's not the way that's going to go. And the individuals that made the pack is going to find out the hard way the type of beings that they made a pack with. Let me explain something to y'all, especially when it comes to anything on a spiritual level. Don't go making packs with beings and things that you have no idea what you're dealing with, that you don't have the history or knowledge about. I wouldn't advise it. Also, this land doesn't belong to these people that are occupying this nation. Your time is coming to an end soon. You guys are going to start experiencing a lot of bumpy roads. A lot of things are going to start changing in your personal lives. The ones who are enjoying the occupation of this lands, <laughs> soon you're going, to, you're, going to, you're going to start feeling some things that you've never felt before. Because this is not your land. And I'm going to say this too, for those of you that are hoping anything about Donald Trump. Donald Trump does not fully, fully understand what the republic truly is. And until he gets into his full understanding about what that really is, he too will have to understand that this is not his land. He's going to experience a few bumps in the road until he gets the message. When someone says to me that they want a superpower, you should already know that you are the superpower. We all, know, we all know we don't have to get the vaccine. Well, we know that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some of us know that. Anybody that's following my page knows that. Lisa Rose 18, can you clarify when you say I'm changing my tune now? Clarify. Being gods. My superpower is infinite love. Boom. Metatron's cube. I'm sorry to hear that, brother. I'm sorry to hear that, brother, but she chose that. Jen Ayers. It's called Evolving. There it is. Uh, there's a lot of you guys that's been, a lot of you guys' powers have been coming online. 
Okay, you guys on my Telegram channel, y'all would just be all. You guys really need to start tuning into my Telegram channel because some of the stuff that's coming out on my channel over there when I'm doing them lives on my Telegram channel is off the chain. Okay. Love, peace, forgiveness. That is correct. At Relentless, Big D. Thank you, baby. I just wanted to I just wanted to come on here and spend a few minutes of my time to talk to you guys. And you guys really should come over to the Telegram channel. Link is in the bio. Link tree is in the bio. Click the link that says my Telegram channel and log on. Okay. I already told you where to go to, so you ain't got to look it up. Just go do what I told you to do. Link is in the bio. People associate change as negative, not growth. That is correct. Uh, change is necessary. The planet is changing. The structures around you is changing. People are changing. The government's changing. Everybody's getting upgrades. I talked to you guys. I talked to you guys about this a while back. I told y'all there was going to be a lot of changes taking place. But I want you, I want to try to prepare your minds for things that are going on around you. You know, there's a lot of things that's been hidden from from a lot of y'all because you guys have filters in the mind. Change is the only constant. Boom. Change is inevitable. Boom. It is the one thing that is constant. That is correct. Have any you have any of you guys been have, have any of you guys been uh doing your shadow work? <laughs> there you go. Make sure y'all have the Telegram app already. Boom. Lots of advancements right now. Boom. I'm going to say, I'm going to continue to keep pushing that narrative about you guys getting your shadow work done, although this was supposed to have been done already. But I'm going to definitely keep pushing that, that, uh, that thing about you getting your shadow work done. It's important because you're going to be able to evolve past a lot of things once you get it done. You got to get to a point in your life, man, where you don't care about what other people think. You got to be comfortable enough in your own skin, regardless of what people have to say about you, if they think that you're crazy, if they think that you're this, if they think that you're that, who gives a damn? What really matters is, is where you are with yourself. And the only way that you're truly going to be comfortable with yourself is if you learn to integrate all aspects of yourself. No one's going to have power over you anymore. It's not going to matter what somebody else is saying about you. Because I guarantee you, the same people that are talking shit about you, you know how I look at, you know how the way I see people when I see them do shit like that? I feel sorry for them. I feel sorry for them because I see that they're hurting. And they don't like themselves very much. So they project that on to me and other people. That's how I see that. I don't see that no other way. Be the God that you came here to be. Boom. And I'm going to share y'all. I'm going to share, I'm going to share something with y'all. You know, their number one goal has always been to keep us divided. You want to know why? Because they know that there's going to be a greater power that's going to activate and it's going to be so great that it's going to be something that they're not going to be prepared to deal with. So as long as they can keep disrupting, as long as they can keep the distractions going, as long as they can keep all those things going, they feel as though that it works in their favor. But I've got some good news for y'all. There's a lot of people that's starting to catch on to that and that are learning and understanding that we all must come together as one. And that's going to be the message that we all need to get on the same accord. 
Okay? We all need to get on the same accord. You put you learn to put you have your differences, but learn to put your differences aside for one common goal. Now remember when I dropped that jewel on y'all and I said to you, make sure you put your affirmations into the sun. The sun hears everything that you say and will exalt all your affirmations and bring that into fruition. You see all these volcanoes going off all around the world? Those are natural eruptions that are taking place around the world. The earthquake that's coming, that's a natural occurrence that's going to take place around the world because we're the ones that's shaking this shit up. So I would encourage you to continue to keep putting the information out there because we are the children of the sun. Keep putting the information out there and the sun will respond back to you. It will hear you when you're speaking to it. It needs to be understood. And also I want you to understand this too. There is nobody greater than the other, no matter, no matter what your status and your position is. From the person that is poor, that doesn't have much, to the person who's a billionaire that has everything. Because you have many different realities going on at the same damn time. And you're a different being in each reality, living a total different life. The son understands the ch its children. That's why I'm telling you guys to do the things that I'm telling you to do to bring about the change. You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to do like a mass meditation with the sun. And we all come up with the affirmation of what we say on one accord to the sun. And that's to wipe these niggas right on up off this damn shit. Wipe their asses right on out. They gotta go. We experience multiple realities. That is correct. Some of us were sent down here on missions. Okay? A lot of us were sent down here on missions. Some of us are on ships right now being projected down onto the earth right now on a mission because you've got to understand that this is a digital world. See, we've been lied to so much about so many different things that even having this conversation with some of you guys is foreign to you. So you're going to think, oh, this is crazy. You're talking crazy, blah, blah, blah. I'm not ready for that type of conversation. I'm not ready for that. And that's okay that you're not ready for it. I'm perfectly okay with that. But what you will see is my evolution and my growth and the message that I deliver. You're going to see that. Because I have a job to do. I've been sitting in front of your faces for quite some time. But I came down here because I have a job to do and a job to complete. And a lot of you guys have a mission. Some of you guys don't. Some of you guys do. The ones that do, you guys know who you are. The ones that's called to action, you know who you are. The ones who were, they were born early in their earlier years. I'm talking to y'all. The ones that never felt like they was a part of anything. The ones that could point up to the star systems and say, this is the particular star system or galaxy that I come from. I know for a fact that I'm not from this place. I'm talking to y'all. The one that was the, odd, the oddball, the odd man out. The one that never quite fit in with all of his peers. You always stood out. People either made fun of you a lot when you were growing up. Always picked on you as a kid when you was growing up. And you didn't even do nothing to nobody. I'm talking to y'all. The ones that were singled out from the very beginning by your family members. They couldn't stand you. The ones that never felt like that they ever belonged. The ones that never felt like they was ever a part of the in crowd. I'm talking to you. The ones that were quote unquote not cool enough. 
but you was okay just being who you were, no matter how strange you come off to other people. I'm talking to you. Okay? I'm talking to you. I need you to wake up and get on your job. You were brought here to do a job. A lot of you guys come from different star systems and most of you are not even human. It's time for your asses to wake up. It's time for you to get to working. You know who you are. I'm not talking about the ones that have a dead soul. I'm not talking about the ones who are caught up in this matrix that thinks that this matrix is exactly real. I'm not talking to those people. I'm talking to the ones who stand out from everybody else. You know who you are. I'm talking to y'all. The ones that don't, that been having all these different experiences, the one that's getting the downloads, the ones that's having the crazy ass dreams and the crazy ass visions. I'm talking to y'all. It's called the Merkaba. The reason why this message is giving you chills is because I'm activated again and I'm trying to control the activation because it's very it's coming over me now. So I'm coming in to activate those children that are on this live at this moment for you to get this message. I'm talking about the ones that have the ability to see but was too afraid to tell anybody that they had the ability to see because they were afraid of what their people would call them crazy. The ones that sit back in the cut and see a lot of shit go on but don't want to say too much because you're afraid of how people are going to respond to you. I'm talking to you, the hidden ones, the ones that are quiet, the ones that are low key on the low low. You don't need to put on airs for nobody because those people that you're trying to do that with, those people are dead in the mind. You can't hide yourself for, for people that are dead, baby. You got to come up out. You got to come on out, babies, and step forward and do what it is that you know you're supposed to do. If this is you and you're on my live, I'm talking to you. I'm calling forth y'all. Do y'all feel that energy? I'm calling forth my Alpha Centurions. I'm calling forth my Anunnaki. I'm calling forth my, my, my Enochian angels. I'm calling forth the Lyrians. I'm calling forth all the other galactic beings that are currently listening to this live right now. I'm calling forth, do you feel the energy? Wake up. Your vibe, your, the reason why your body's vibrating right now is because I'm sending that energy out to every single one that's on this live. Wake up. I'm activating you. Wake up. Call on those ancestors of all those galactic families and the families we hear on earth. Call on y'all to come forth at this time. Come around your children and let them know that you're present. Some of y'all can hear. Start listening to the inner voice that's calling you to do what you know you're supposed to be doing. Listen. It's okay if you feel like you want to cry. But I need you to wake up. Your family is there with you. Your galactic family is there with you, my babies. They always have been.
I know that you guys felt that. People be thinking it's a game when I talk to people. But I know y'all, all 640 y'all that's been on this live so far, and some of y'all have been thousands of y'all that's felt that energy. Do you guys still not know who's talking to y'all right now? Do you not know who's talking to y'all right now? The reason why your body has chills, baby, is because I'm activating you. Wake up. We're moving into a galactic space right now. Things are not going to be the same anymore. Okay? I'm going to ask you to remove the filters from your mind and open your mind up to receive what you're supposed to receive so you can wake up. Okay? They are speaking through me tonight. You're absolutely correct. And to think, I'm not even using my wand. I'm just talking to you. Your third eye is pounding. That, became, that means that you got psyched. Your baby just started moving. <laughs> that baby, sir, you know what that is? The baby hears me that, that, because the baby hears the vibration. I want you guys to understand something. When I'm speaking to you, I'm speaking to you through a particular vibration and I'm utilizing a particular frequency to activate you. The heaviness is gone. You're being cleaned off. Who am I, Isis? Use your first mind, baby. Use your first mind. Who do you think I am, baby? Time to raise those vibrational frequencies. Y'all got headaches? It's time for you to raise that vibration frequency. Let's get it risen up. And I'm just talking to you. I'm not even using my wines. I'm just talking to you. Her baby is responding to the frequency that you're emitting. That is correct. Because what you're feeling is a vibrational frequency of love. You hear the angelic ones, high pitch ringing in my ears. Your angelic, your angelic, your angelic family is present. Okay? I asked that the ancestors and the angelic beings... And spirit guides of everybody on this live right now to come down and clean your children off. Come forward to your children and clean your children off. Cloak ships. What's going on, fam? Love you too, baby. Now is the best time for you guys to be getting a nice cleansing going on, to get the frequency, to get the actual tones and the vibrations. Now is the best time to do that during a shift that we're going through right now at this time. Now is the time to do it. Some of you guys are going to be able to see more. Some of you guys are going to become more clear audience. Some of you guys are going to start feeling all types of things. Some of you guys are going to feel physically stronger. Much love to you, Cloak Ships. I was, explain, I was explaining to my audience that what people perceived to be an actual meteorite exploding, that wasn't it. That was an actual, that was an actual draconian ship that got blown out the damn water. And you're going to start seeing a lot, a lot of this happening more often in different places. I'm going to let you guys know like that because of the galactic war that's taking place in space. And let me explain something to you. So above, so below. There's a war taking place up there. There's a war taking place down here. Make sure you're clear.
Also, I want to share something else that was also revealed to me. I keep hearing certain people saying that there's going to be an alien invasion. But see, there's some ignorance in that statement because you guys don't seem to realize that there were other beings here long before we were. So if those beings are returning back, and because of your lack of knowledge that these beings have already been here long before you are, that's where that's coming from. Just like we're a species, there are species, but there are beings that's been here on this plane long before us. And y'all got to get that out of your head that you think that you're the oldest because you're not. Never was. They're not aliens. You can't call something an alien that's already, that, that has been keepers of the planet since the very beginning. They're not aliens. They are the ancestors. You guys got to understand that these beings been here for a very, very long time. Eons and eons and eons and eons and eons ago. And I'm going to share something else with you guys as well. You have individuals that actually went back in time. Do you guys think this is the actual future? Because I can assure you it's not. A lot of us came back from the future. Reincarnated in this realm to correct, to correct a few things. Why do you think you're present during the most darkest times ever that we're experiencing? Why do you think you're present to witness this? For those that are in the know that's witnessing it, why do you think you're present to witness this? Because you've already came back from the future and came into the past to correct some things. Not every single last one of y'all, though, has the same mission. I don't think it's a coincidence that the Walking Dead are being shipped here. I don't even know if they're being shipped here, so to speak. I think that they're just here. I think that there's a lot of people that are here... And you got to understand, if we're living on a digital world, these programs, a lot of us have created these programs with our minds. But see, you won't give yourself enough credit in that way of thinking because you still think that you're less than what you think you really are. Most people don't know what they really are and how they manifest things. You can manifest things from a past life right into this life. You can manifest something in this life into a whole different reality. And you not even realize it. You can jump in and out of different realities on a consistent basis all day, every day. Okay? Now, here's a sister that said, my mission comes from the ninth dimension. No, it's not a coincidence. Yes, we're on our assignment. Soon the internet will be out, including the power we have to get our codes out now to our people before the shift hits the fan. I had a dream some apocalyptic type outbreak happened, then COVID came six months later. Boom. Premonitions. My son is activating. He's having some issues dealing with it. This live will help him. Tell your, tell your son I said, welcome. Some of you guys are jumping, are jumping timelines immediately. Some of you guys know how to jump timelines. No, actually, actually know how to jump timelines. My mission is, is from Ra and Isis. You gave me a mission before I reincarnated. I have a lot to tell you. Azubuke. Book? Send me a message. Come over to my, come over to my Telegram channel, fam. Go to my Telegram channel, go to my link tree in my bio, and go to my Telegram channel. Life gets hard when we keep living in our South Node energy. Boom.
General Milly SB. Miss you guys too. I don't know what to tell you about that, Mommy Love Jones. Uh, <laughs> dream of eating lizards. I don't know what to tell you about that, Mama. We all have access to different timelines based upon our decisions. That is correct. In my night travels, I've walked so close to a ship I could feel the heat. All of you guys' dreams that you guys are currently having at this time are messages that are being given to you about your journey. Some of them are giving you messages about what it is that you need to do next. Some of them are premonitions that you're supposed to be getting out to the public. Don't sit up here and tell me about your premonitions. You should be telling other people on your Instagram about your premonitions. Get out here, get your bus and doing the damn work. Segment is the shit. That's my thoughts. Wow, the black Asian, wow. At Phoenix Rising, it's okay if they don't listen. It's their free will not to. That's the thing. It's Listen, everybody has a free will to do whatever it is that they want to do. That's the wonderful thing about being who we are is the choice of free will. You're going to have some that's going to listen. You're going to have some that doesn't. That's okay. Either way I look at it, it's okay. I'm perfectly okay with that. I'm not losing sleep behind somebody making a decision of not to listen. That's their destiny. That's their fate. They choose what they want to choose. And all of you guys are going to have to get to a point to where you're going to become accepting of people's choices. Because they wrote that contract for themselves. Always remember this. We don't die. Everybody that you see running out here running to get this vaccine, them folks still going to be around. Just keep that in mind. They just can't be on this round to see the changes. Not at this time. They weren't ready for that. Their soul said, I'm not ready for the frequency that's coming on this planet. I'm not ready to handle that. So let me go on ahead and do something that's going to take me right on up out of here. It's okay. No one ever really dies. Smizzy. Boom. It's okay if you're hearing me and you're, and you're not. I'm okay with that. Of course, of course the, the injection better be a no for you. But I'm saying for those who choose to go down that road, it is what it is, fam. Cloak ships, I'll give you one better than that. <laughs> the vaccinated are going to be taken out. They're not going to be around very long. There's going to be a lot of sorrow on this planet. There's going to be a lot of blood spilled on the earth. You guys have no idea what's coming. They lost their soul, baby. When they said that something felt like something felt like it left them, they lost their soul. There's going. I want, I want to make sure you guys are clear about a few things, because everybody that's been seeing new new bureau in the sky, and y'all have no idea that these that the Anunnaki's all on this planet right now. 
They they on this planet right now. There's so many of us on this planet right now that's actually on the planet, like on the soil. You guys have no idea what's going on, but you will soon see. And let me just say this one thing. There is going to be some heavy flooding that's going to be taking place. For those of you who say you keep seeing a dream about major, about a tsunami, there is going to be major flooding taking place. There's going to be a lot of volcanic eruptions taking place. These are the pains of the earth. This is the way it has to be. They're on every inch of this planet. And they're working together with the Lyrians. And several other and several other uh and several other beings. At Joy Caption, there's gonna be a lot of distractions placed upon the planet. And if you seriously think that a man's coming back to save you, all I can tell you is is, is good luck with that. Because it, that's not really what that's about. They're talking about your crystalline. And your crystals mindset, your crystalline body, they're not talking about a being coming to save you. That, see, that right there, and people don't have the ability to decode and taking that thing literally, y'all missing the whole point to this. I had a dream. The only state left was Georgia and another one I can't remember right now. It was crazy. Oh yeah, it's going, it's going, it's going, it's going to go down, fam. It's going to go down. It's the consciousness that you have to invoke. Boom. A September sun, because you already know what that brings. But the next question you got to ask yourself is, is what is the basis of your fear? That is, that it is going to be broken up. That is correct. That is a real dream. I want you guys to understand something as well. The reason why so much fear is being promoted is because there are a lot of beings that eat off that energy, that feed off that energy of fear. Okay? So anytime that you see a concentration of something taking place on a consistent basis, there's always somebody on the outside of it that's always constantly um, benefiting off of the energy. Okay? There are other digital worlds like ours but not quite like ours we come here to learn the distractions aren't going to stop because we come here to learn to focus to become better to evolve that's what this place is about kind of look at it like each of you guys are on your own starship with your family and you decide that you're going to go into, let's say, remember Star Trek, the movie, when they put out, when they made Genesis? Y'all remember that? They made, a, they made an Earth-like area inside the ship. And so they would go into Genesis on their actual ship, and Genesis looked like an Earth, the digital world. That's what this place is, is a digital world. Okay? So look at it like you're projecting and you're having this experience you're actually on a ship, though, but you're in your own genesis, so to speak. That's the best analogy I can give you.
Yes, you are here to learn. Learn everything that you're supposed to learn. Boom. Some of y'all got whole families, husbands, and kids someplace else. And let me, let me explain something to you. There are rules to this digital world, right? But if you expand your mind and, and expand your consciousness, you will be able to not follow the rules of the digital world and work outside of the rules of the digital world, okay? You'll be able to do that. But in order for you to come to that kind of understanding, you have to open up your mind and really open up your mind and allow yourself to be able to receive the information free flowing without allowing fear to say, okay, I can't handle this right now. You feed yourself, so to speak, spoonfuls if you need to, but begin to start getting into a space where you're opening up your mind. And all you have to do is simply say, I want my mind to open up to learn more about who I am. I am open to receiving the downloads to learn more about who I am. And what will start happening is you'll start getting those downloads. Integrate the digital world. Boom. This is almost like the X-Men Danger Room training grounds. A-L-E-T-I-S. Boom. There is an onslaught of nanoparticles being administered to the population, especially through the medical mask everyone is wearing. I don't wear no damn medical mask. See, y'all see, <laughs> y'all better, y'all heard what Cloak Ship said. I don't wear them joints. So, that's on y'all. Expand and explore the mental portal. That's all. Harmonize the body, mind, and spirit. Expand the total field of our consciousness. Boom. I don't, at, at, the, at Coach Cat, I got to be honest with you, I'm not tuned into that energy or that frequency, so I don't, I'm not tuned into it in that way. I don't, I don't pay attention to what these people are talking about because every day is something different. And that's the game that you got to realize that they're going to do every single day or every single week. They're coming out with something new and crazy, right? The question is, is that when do you stop following that? When do you break the cycle and tune yourself out of it? As long as you know that you're not going to take that, at the end of the day, all the rest of this shit these people are talking about, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If you guys are not, if you guys are not getting caught up in that, it doesn't matter. You guys got to get out of the programming. I don't know. You want to find somebody to study Gematria. I don't. If ain't nobody getting the test, none of this should be relevant to the conversation. Let me just say this one thing. If, if none of you guys are interested in getting the actual injection, then I wouldn't even be talking about it that much anymore. Or be concerned with whatever new trait they're coming up with. At the end of the day, it's not going to stop those who choose to take it, to take it. If you're smart enough and wise enough to understand not to get the test done, not to get the injection done, none of this shit that you guys are talking about has any relevancy to your life whatsoever. That's a game. And it's a game that you're going to try to keep Going in your mind over and over and over again when the truth of the matter is, ain't there none of y'all decide to get that damn test, and ain't there none of y'all decide to get that damn injection. So my question to you is, why do you keep tuning into it? Because what's going to happen is you're going to find yourself in a situation where you're going to manifest you being forced into it. Okay? All the different, the boogeyman, all they're going to come out with and do it this way this week. Last month, there was some other shit last month. Okay, the mandate's taking place. Okay, this big university over here is doing it. This employee over here is doing this, that, and the third. Every single day, you guys are going to hear about some crazy shit that these demons are out here doing. My question to you is, if you know you're not going to get it done, why does it matter to you? 
Because you're not going to stop the people out here that's going to want to get themselves fucked up. You're not going to be able to stop it. Okay? You need to be in control of your life and how you're going to operate. That's what should matter at this point. Nothing else. It doesn't matter if they're testing some people every week. Why does that matter to you? Are you getting tested? I'm going to tell y'all something, and I'm going to say this one time. You keep on entertaining that fear, and you're going to manifest some shit in your life that you wish that you never would have. Well then, well then, don't, well then, honey, let me tell you something. When you said most jobs are requiring tests, I suggest you become an entrepreneur very quickly. Okay? Become an entrepreneur very quickly. Find out what you're good at. Find out what you could do that you could love to do to get, whether you're getting paid or not. What is it that you guys love to do, whether you're getting paid for it or not, that you're really, really good at? You guys better start figuring some shit out. And start getting very creative because I told you that the old system was not going to work for us. And I said to you that if you did not have the ability to adjust to the new ways of doing things, that it was going to be a hard way to go for y'all. And now look at what's happening. No one's going to force you to do anything that you can. Mm. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm going to explain to you my definition of force. If somebody is holding a gun up to your head and saying that if you don't take this injection, I'm going to blow your goddamn brains out. How about that? Or if two people or three people or four people are holding you down a person on each leg, a person on each arm, and they go in and they give it to you. That's force. Um, threatening you, saying that you can't have a job because you, because if you don't get it, it's not force. You file a lawsuit. You haul their asses up in the court. You send them a cease and desist, and you tell them you will file a tort claim against their ass. Period. You guys wouldn't be complaining about half the shit you're complaining about if you took the time out and studied law. Why don't you just go research where it says that they have the ability to do that at? How about that? How about that? There's people, whether or not you guys realize this or not, there are plenty of people out here in the U.S. right now that's actually filing crazy lawsuits against universities, against employers, and the whole nine to shut the shit down. All you got to do is pay attention. If you hear someone filing a lawsuit, get with 10 other people that you know that's working at the same facility you're working at that don't want to do it, and you guys put your money together, hire a damn lawyer, file a lawsuit, it'll shut that shit down on site. You guys are not helpless here. You just don't think. All right, y'all. I'm out. It's been good. Peace and blessings.